Good afternoon, good afternoon, Internet. Eric Arnold here in the sports barn. It is oh, late afternoon, May 11th, Monday. Happy birthday to my lovely wife, uh, who I don't want to be without. I hope she's had a nice day. It's her birthday. Um, I forget how many times she's been 29. Uh, but today is her birthday, so honey, I hope you had a nice day. I love you very much. Uh, so, that's not why you're here. You're here to hear about the Arizona Diamondbacks, because that's next on our MLB preview series, uh, as to whether or not we're going to be betting the Diamondbacks or feeding the Diamondbacks in this upcoming abbreviated 2020 schedule, which MLB still hasn't announced what they're doing yet. Uh, which is making me just a little nervous, just a little nervous, also making me a little nervous. Um, I, of course, am on the pro get the hell out of the barn as soon as possible, restart the economy yesterday bandwagon. Um, I was excited last uh, 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 Friday as Pennsylvania counties here, I live in Pennsylvania, we're an open rebellion against our Governor, I'll leave that, just to say governor, and you can fill in your own adjectives in front of that. Um, open rebellion, well, the governor is now pushed back, as you would expect, threatening to put everybody out of business that is defying him, um, as if he's not doing that already. So, we'll see. I, I, I'm hoping that nobody's going to back down. I'm hoping that more counties are going to join the rebellion. I'm hoping the Lancaster, Schuylkill County, and certainly Berks County are going to be joining the rebellion because this SOB is never going to open up the state left to his own devices. He's just not. Uh, he's just not. So, you know, there you have that. You don't really care about that too much. Uh, you're more worried about when are we going to play sports. Well, they're connected. I mean, you know, we can't have sports until we open up the economy. But at any rate. I don't want to get too far into that. Um, I did watch a little bit of the Jordan documentary. Uh, you just kind of have to watch it. It's the only thing on other than, you know, I've now seen uh, a replay of game one of the 88 World Series at least three times. So really it's the only new programming, you know, other than the uh, Korean baseball organization. Uh, thoughts about it, you know, it... it you try to pick out traits of a winner, you know, and obviously Michael Jordan, one of the greatest winners in any sport, in any generation, six titles. So you're trying to figure out when you're betting, uh, it, team A, team B, you know, who are we picking here, team A or team B? And which team has the traits of winners? And, and you know, Jordan, of course, is the great winner, but he's a prick. I mean, he was a prick then, and he's, you know, 20 years later, he's just the biggest prick as he was then. Um, it, 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 so perhaps that's what it takes. You know, I, I don't know it necessarily comes down to that. I mean, there are other players that have won in sports, and I don't know they're as big of assholes as Michael Jordan is. Uh, you know, Leo DeRocher said, nice guys finish last, and there might be something to that. Um, I, I don't know. I just kind of figure that there's kids watching this and just looking at that saying, well, I guess that's the way to win. That's the only way to win. It's a single-minded uh, uh, approach where that's all that you think of. That's all that's important to you. That's how you do it. Maybe it is how you do it. Uh, I just pictured little, you know, teenagers coming home. The father says to the son, uh, Hi, son, how was JV baseball practice today? Great, Dad. I punched little Sammy out. What, why did you punch Sammy out? He's your catcher. Well, he just wasn't paying attention. He was lollygagging. He was off daydreaming. And we're just never going to win the county championship like that. So... I've got to lead this team. I've got to demand excellence at all times. No daydreaming. So I punched his shit out. Well, that's good for you, son, because we're tough. We're straight. We're uh, going to win. And that's all that matters is winning. So punch that little bastard out. We've got to have a single-minded, maniacal approach of winning. 
So, you know, maybe that's how it works, and maybe that's what does win. You know, it does seem like the winning teams do have that kind of patriot, bull, single-minded focus, nothing else matters. Uh, I don't know it's something to be embarrassed about or upset about. You know, it just comes off as a little unseemly sometimes. It's like, we're the, we're the happy winners. We're the joyous winners. The winners that, like, have fun and win. And, and, and have fun while they're doing it, not, you know, punching out their teammates. You know, there's some of those teams, aren't there? Anyway, huh? All right, enough of that. So let's talk about the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, as I said, we're going through all 30 MLB teams. Uh, we're going to try to figure out, are we betting these teams? Are we fading these teams? And I'm looking for certain traits in these teams when I'm figuring they're going to be good bets or not. Uh, we want to see teams that can catch the ball. Uh, we want to see teams that have young athletes that can, can run around and run down a fly ball. You know, again, teams that can catch the ball. Uh, looking for teams where there's still some value there. In other words, hey, what a bunch of talent on that New York Yankee team. Well, everybody knows that. And you're going to pay a premium to bet on the Yankees all year long. So... Yeah, they're going to win, but are they going to win enough to make it worth paying that premium to bet on them? Uh, so that's what we're looking for. Um, are, are the teams that we're the teams that we like? Are we going to just blindly play them every day? Probably not. I mean, it's just a factor to look at. Uh, you know, it could be the kind of thing. Well, you know, there's six of this, half dozen of another. But this is a team I like, and this is a team I don't like, so maybe that's worth a play then for the team I like. So that's what we're trying to figure out. You know, teams that we can look at and go, yeah, you know, that might be, that's a good bet. That team might be a good bet this year. And, and we got time to do it. We got time to do it. Normally we probably wouldn't have time to do this because we'd be in the middle of the NCAA basketball tournament, which I miss very much. All right, where were we? Arizona Diamondbacks, managed by Tori Lavulo. Lavulo. Uh, what do we know about that guy? Uh, this is his, I believe, fourth year managing the Diamondbacks. Uh, he had a cup of coffee as an interim manager with the Boston Red Sox. Um, his uh, return on investment is good. Uh, it is. Ooh, I just lost my screen. Lost my screen. Uh, where is it? Da, da, da. It's here, it's here, it's here. Oh, it's about 2%. Uh, again, return on investment. Uh, how much money did I bet? How much money did I make? The amount of money I made divided by the amount I didn't bet. You know, anything over, anything positive is, you know, worth saying, hey, that's good. So, Guy you've never heard of, probably, and he's probably a pretty good manager. So we're going to give him like a B, you know, or so. I think they got a pretty good manager. Last year, uh, 85 and 77, uh, in, and, and we're, they were plus 4.8% return on investment. That's good. It's a good year for them. It was expected to be a rebuilding year as they got rid of Paul Goldschmidt. Uh, they traded Zach Granke, he of the Jihugent contract, at the end of July, the trade deadline. Um, but they still won money for the people that bet them, 4.8. Uh, the year before that, disappointment, uh, 82 and 80. Uh, the year before that would have been, I guess, Goldschmidt's breakout year, 94 and 72, 6.3 plus. And then some bad years in uh, uh, 16 and 15. Uh, so what do we think here? Um, what do we know about this team? Well, they trained it, it, it. I think this is a team that's expected to be in a rebuilding stage uh, because of the Granky trade. But I think this team's further along than that. Um, this team had a better record after the Granky trade than they did before the Granky trade. They were 31 and 22 
after trading Granky. And none of the players that they got back in the Granky trade helped them. I mean, they're all prospects. I don't really anticipate they're going to help them this year. I mean, none of the names seem to jump out at me as that, on any depth charts or anything like that. But it gives the organization depth, gives the organization that that positive feeling that you know we got we got cavalry behind us. You know, we're, the cupboard's not bare. You know, we can make a trade. We we can just stand pat. And in the upcoming years, we're going to have these guys coming up, and they're going to help us. Uh, so, you know, in the offseason, they trade, or uh, I guess free agent, Madison Baumgartner, uh, maybe not the same shutdown guy he was in San Francisco, but I think there's still some tread on the tires there. Uh, so he's at the top of the rotation. Uh, you've got a number of other uh, half-decent starters. Um, they were in the middle of the pack last year as far as pitching goes. Decent offense. Fielding, I figured these guys catch the ball pretty well. Um, my metrics say they're the second best team in the National League. Uh, Vegas has these guys at 83.5 wins, so basically Vegas is saying they got lucky last year a little bit, expecting uh, basically a uh, uh, about the same, I guess, uh, falling short of the playoffs, probably 85 wins would be generally just short of the playoffs. Uh, we're buying this team, absolutely. I think this is a team we are buying. This is everything we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for a team that can catch the ball. Uh, this is a team that doesn't have uh, much in the way of notable superstars uh, that, that are sucking up huge amounts of money. Uh, Ketel Marte is probably their best player. Uh, he's their second baseman. Young, under, I think he's under 26 years old. So as long as he doesn't regress, uh, they should be pretty good there as far as uh, um, production goes. Their infield's very good. Uh, they brought in some guys in the outfield that hopefully uh, improve their outfield. You know, I think this is a team that's going to compete in the NL West. Uh, I think they're going to be better than that 83.5. This is a team we're buying. We are going to buy. We're going to bet the Arizona Diamondbacks. We like this team. Like them, like them, like them. So there you have that. So that's two down. I guess tomorrow we'll do L.A., the uh, Dodgers. That should be fun. Everybody knows them. So... That should be fun. Uh, so, so far, Colorado, we're fade, selling them, fading them. Diamondbacks, we are buying the Diamondbacks. Uh, two down, 28 to go. And we'll get there eventually. So, there you have that. All right, thanks for being here. Uh, subscribe if you like. That helps me out, makes me feel good. Hit the like button. That helps me, makes me feel good too. Um, it doesn't hurt, doesn't cost you nothing. Uh, unless you don't like it, then don't hit the like button. Um, so, thanks, we'll see you again.